Hi. Um, what what we're going to look into today is creating a JavaScript slideshow. Now this can be used either on a gallery page or as this example here um, as a banner. Now this will rotate through a number of images that are selected in a certain folder. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can manipulate this script using PHP for example. Um, all of my JavaScript documents here are actually PHP. This allows me to change the documents according to what's happening on the server side. So for instance, if I want to find out how many elements, how many images are in a certain folder, I can then use PHP. Hold on, let me open it. Um, that one. I can use PHP to uh, scan through the directory and uh, find out just how many files are in the loop. So there's lots of ways you can manipulate this and that PHP way of doing it I think it's definitely a good way of doing it. Um, so let's let's start. Um, now, what I'm going to do? Let's find our 81 folder. I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it Images. Right. Um, I'm going to have Photoshop at the ready. I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to make it 900 by let's say 500 right so that's going to be the size of our images um, so I'm going to decide that this slideshow is going to be about hey see me it's my background let's do uh, let's do landscapes I'm going to do that I'm going to flip into uh, images um, now you know some of these are very small resolution and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into advanced search and we're going to change any size to large. I'm going to continue our Google search. Now we've got all of these look they're of large format. Now these all of these would work in in our size of image. Now I'm going to take this beach. I'm going to go full size, wait finish it let it finish loading. I'm going to then zoom in and I'm going to copy image. And I'm going to hit Control and V in Photoshop, and that's going to uh, paste it in. I'm going to zoom out, and what I want to do is I want to try and fit as much of this image in as I can. Now, I'm restricted to the height and width. It's got to fit in to our width, and at the moment it does. So, Or if you've got a very tall portrait image, then it's going to have to fit into your height and not necessarily your width. So... Oh no, sorry, the other way around. If you've got a very wide image, it's going to need to fit into the uh, bottom of your image because you don't want any overlap like that. Otherwise, you'll see the background and that's a bit nasty. So, we're going to finish transforming that. I hit Control and T to do that, by the way. Just thought I'd let you know. Um, I think that's a good good place to put it. Right, so I'm going to save that. Oh, hold on, let me come out of this. I'm going to go into 81 and I'm going to, my image, going to go into my images. Right. I'm going to call this image 1. All right, I'm going to save the Photoshop format and I'm also going to save the JPEG format. Um, because this is going to be a, a pretty focal point of our website, I'm going to save it as a JPEG because it's, it's quite a uh, detailed image. So JPEG is probably the best format to save it in. Um, I'm also going to change it from baseline and I'm going to stick it in progressive. Now this means that it will minimize the size of the file, but it will take a few seconds to scan through and, you know, just perfect the pixels. And I'm also going to bring it down to medium because if you put it up to large, look, you'll see 455. Five, that's not good. That's a very long low time. So 105.8, it's about halfway. That I'm not happy with that. So we're going to go with that. Um, let's just... Oh, wrong one. Let's just whip this open and take a look at the image. So that's our image. This is going to be our first image. Um, for the purpose of this, I'm going to choose three. Um, that looks quite good. We'll have that. See full size. Or not. We won't use that one. 
Um, let's use this one. Right, in this case, because it has got a watermark, you shouldn't really do this. But uh, what size was this image? 900 by 500. So we're going to create a new one. It's going to put in the width and the height of the image we've just copied. But we don't want to do that. We're going to do 900 by 500. And we're going to hit Control and V again. Okay. Um, we're going to hold, sh hit Control and C to transform the uh, layer. And we're going to hold Shift while we drag this diagonal point across until the width matches the width of our image. Just make sure, oh, that's not right because that's got a bit of a overhang. There you go, that's perfect. We're just going to hit our, uh, our drag tool. Um, we're going to hit apply because we're happy with that transformation. And I want to try and get Oh, that looks about right to me. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to call this one image. Oh, that's not right. Image two. I just have to alter the last one because I saved that as images one. And JPEG in the same format again. Let me just whip into here. I need to rename both of these. Uh, I'm going to have to get rid of him. So that I can rename this one image one right so we've got our image one and our image two we just need to find a third image um, hmm ah, we'll have that one why not oh what happened there Pfft, don't know Right. Right, that's finished ladies. We're gonna copy the image. We're gonna create a new nine hundred by five hundred image. And we're gonna paste that in. Again, hit control and T. We want to zoom out so we can get all of our points. We can hold shift while we drag I think I just did a caps lock. We're gonna hold shift while we drag the diagonal point in so that the side matches up with the image. And that's good. And hit that. C. Well, that looks about right to me. Right. This one's going to be three. So, I think you can catch the drift. Um, JPEG. There you go. <coughs> so, we've now got our three images. If we. Let me remember how to do sort by type. There you go. So now we've got our three images here. Um, if I preview and hit F11, it's going to be something similar to this. Actually, you're only seeing some of my screen here, but you will have the whole thing. It's going to flick through the images like this. Apart from, we're going to add some some nice effects to it, some fades. Um, so yeah, let's let's get to the coding. I'm going to go back into our root and I'm going to create a new folder. I like to do this just so everything is uh, nice and tidy. I create a JavaScript folder and this is where we're going to have our documents. Right. Um, let me open up uh, this other website that we've just had a look at. I'm going to open all this up. I'm going to copy all of this. Uh, I want a new JavaScript file. And I'm going to save that in our document route as jQuery.js. Right, so we've got a jQuery file. We don't want to touch this at all. This just has to be there. Um, and we're also going to create another JavaScript file. And just save it like that for now. And we're going to save this as slideshow.js. Right. Um, let's start then making our HTML document. Right. Um, I'm gonna do all the styling in the uh, head section in the style tag as opposed to um, creating a style sheet. But usually I would create a style sheet. 
So um, we're just going to put slideshow as our title. 